The idea of combining an aircraft with a crane was developed by engineers in 1962. That's when this American high-capacity transport helicopter appeared. Today, almost 60 years later, it is still actively used all over the world. The S-64 is capable of lifting loads of up to 20,000 pounds, so it's used not only in logistics, but also in construction and high-altitude installation projects. Due to its structural characteristics, it's not designed to carry people. During flights, there are only a crew of three to five people on board, consisting of two or three pilots and engineers, carefully controlling the process of transportation. It's also worth noting that despite the external bulkiness, the helicopter is highly maneuverable, which means that it can work even in hard-to-reach places. All transport companies in the world strive for maximum fuel economy. And that is exactly what the creators of this commercial container cargo ship have succeeded in. This is the world's first ship equipped with a computer-controlled kite. This seemingly simple design can save an average of 10 to 35 percent of fuel per year. Under ideal conditions, it might even reach 50 percent. It works in a similar way to a regular kite and can travel hundreds of feet in the air, where the wind force is greater, which is what makes the invention effective. The way people build houses will change fundamentally in the next decade. Huge machines and countless construction teams will be replaced by 3D printers. This sector is growing rapidly. The company Icon, for example, has been using robotic printers to build houses across the United States for several years now. And this is the latest printer developed by the company. It consists of a frame and an extruder, which squeezes out a special mortar. In terms of its properties, this mortar is in no way inferior to traditional materials, and in terms of durability, it even surpasses them. The algorithm of the extruder movement is set by the operator using a special software, so the construction can have any layout, even a complex one. In ancient times, people transferred water from low-lying reservoirs to irrigation canals with this simple method. Thousands of years later, the ingenious mechanism invented by Archimedes has not lost its relevance. Its modernized version is used, for example, in the Netherlands. And these ones are located in an English forest and raise water almost vertically in a fast and easy way. To reduce the number of people on the battlefield and the number of war casualties, manufacturers of military technology are paying a great deal of attention to the development of autonomous vehicles. At the end of last year, a German concern and one of the pioneers in this area presented its latest robotic vehicle. ACW can be used both for combat and for troop support. In either case, the intelligent computer analyzes the area and is able to make tactical decisions based on the data collected. The autonomous mode can be switched off at any time, and there's a remote control function. And of course, the model offers excellent mobility, which allows it to work in the most aggressive and adverse conditions. Modern drones are getting better every day, but they are still quite noisy, consume a lot of energy, and pose a danger due to its rapidly rotating blades. An alternative, silent and safe option was introduced a few months ago by the Japanese company Docomo. This drone has no blades at all. Instead, it uses a balloon filled with helium. It keeps the device in the air, which saves electricity. However, the gadget moves using miniature ultrasonic modules. They generate vibrations in the air, enabling controlled flight.
This drone that will be remembered by the world as the first unmanned aircraft to complete the mid-air refueling of another aircraft. The historic event took place on June the 7th last year, only two years after the first prototype was tested. It was designed by Boeing for the US Navy. The model is currently the only one in existence, and more than $805 million have been spent on its development. The aircraft is powered by a Rolls-Royce AE-3007N turbofan engine that provides about 10,000 pound force of thrust. The drone can carry up to 16,000 pounds of fuel on board. A company from Denmark offers a new look at the concept of urban mobility. Its specialists came up with the idea of a compact car that's able to change the length of its wheelbase in a couple of minutes. The updated model was presented just a few days ago. It's only 30.7 inches wide, which makes it the slimmest vehicle in the world. At the same time, it's well suited for urban use. It accommodates one to two passengers, accelerates up to 28 miles per hour, and travels up to 62 miles on one battery charge. You can already pre-order the IEVZ for $6,650. Protect yourself from a possible shark attack in the water with this swimming suit, designed by a company from Australia. The clothing was created with surfers in mind, so it doesn't restrict movement, is pleasant to the touch, and dries very quickly. At the same time, the unique material perfectly resists punctures, cuts, and bites. Its strength-to-weight ratio is 50% higher than that of Kevlar, and 8 to 15 times higher than that of steel. If these figures are true, then in a dangerous situation, this suit could very well protect your health or even save your life. The price starts at $569. The autonomous delivery market has experienced unprecedented growth in recent years. You are now looking at Europe's first unmanned delivery robot, officially authorized to drive on public roads. For 15 months now, it has been tested on the streets of real cities in Estonia. It works as follows. With the help of a mobile app, a delivery is ordered, and then the app generates a code allowing the user to pick up the goods from the robot. In this way, the user knows that their purchase will not go to a stranger. The robot drives at a safe speed of 15.5 miles per hour. It has a carrying capacity of 440 pounds, so the robot can carry multiple packages at once. Equipment for extreme sports is also becoming more and more extraordinary. This is an electric surfboard, which can offer an adrenaline rush even to an experienced athlete. It allows you to jump higher and go faster. The maximum speed is 35 miles per hour, and it goes from 0 to 31 miles per hour in exactly 4 seconds. At 86 pounds, the board is pretty heavy, but on the other hand, it has a good power reserve and allows you to ride from 15 to 20 minutes. Today's last vehicle will attract everyone's attention, take you to your destination, and help the environment at the same time. This electric scooter with a futuristic, eye-catching design was introduced a few weeks ago in Germany. The model reaches speeds of around 60 miles per hour and boasts a range of 87 miles. You can pre-order the scooter right now for a whopping $7,300.